ain't times. Don't let Babylon break you. Don't let them break your soul. In time, in time, stay woke, it's going down. Yeah. We gonna wake up the tribes. How? Willing. What you cooking? Last days. About to wake up the tribe. Armageddon at the doorstep. Stay woke, it's going down. Babylon trying to break me. I need the Holy Spirit right now. We about to wake up the tribes. Spare not cry loud. Yeah, yeah. We about to wake up the tribes. In time, in time. Stay woke, it's going down. Babylon trying to break my soul. Holy Spirit, come down. We about to wake up the tribes. Spare not cry loud. Yeah. We about to wake up the tribes. We in the truth, now they scared of us. They knew that Jacob would rise. For Jehovah searched all hearts and understandeth all imaginations of the thoughts. So I know what you're thinking, and I know where they came from. So that we says this: If thou seek him, what? He will be found. Okay. okay. So look. So is seeking him? Is seeking Yah something that this nation is putting in front of your eyes? No. 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 Are you telling me this person not telling you the truth, son? They, they lying. What about you? No. Nope. Are you telling me the truth, son? <laughs> <laughs> no. Fine. No, are you serious? Are you telling me this nation's not? So if they're not giving you the truth, whose responsibility is it to find it? Yours. Are you telling me I have to look for the truth? Yes. yes. I have to seek it? Be willing. Willingly. Now, is there a scripture that says, if you seek, you, you shall find? find? Is that? Mm -hmm. Because yes, is. that means the truth is something that has to be sought after. Are you telling me that? Right. So I got to find the instruction for my life? I got to find it? Right. Okay. It says, if you seek him, if you seek him, wow, he will be found of thee. Mm -hmm. But if thou forsake him, what will he do? Cast me off forever. Are you serious? Y'all will do that. That's what it says. So here we are in captivity. We're trying to tell our people, hey, we need to get back to y'all. And guess what? Say what? What? I don't know about you, but I've been witnessing a lot of our people think they know everything. Can you believe that? Everything. Everything. They think they know everything. everything. Why? Because of their own what? Imagine. Imaginations. Let's go to Proverbs 23. Proverbs 23. Verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he, that he to thee. But his heart is not with thee. Wow. Mm. For as he thinketh. So how. People think what you do is who you are. Mm -mm. It's what you think. It's how you think. Mm. And I know that can be embarrassing. Because somebody can just clown you on just the way you just think. But what you. <laughs> now. To my sons. Who I love with all my heart. Has there been any time in my life I ever approached you and say, well, what you thinking? Yeah. yeah. Is that a nod or a yes, sir? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Thank you, DJ, have you died that or ask you? <laughs> DJ, what you thinking? Man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, because fathers is trying to frame their son's mind. Because we know as men, we were once boys, and we're men now trying to keep our frame of mind right. Mm -hmm. Right? So, when you're raising your son, who already think they know more than you, you got to help them see that, look, your thinking process is off. I understand how you're, what you really want, your desire, but we're still trying to frame your imagination. Mm -hmm. Based off instruction, not Google. No, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so true. Not off of artificial intelligence. Right. If you allow artificial intelligence to frame your mind, then the truth has no room in your life. Right. 
So we came over here. And they took the instructions of Yah away from us. Mm -hmm. They aborted our hard drives. They erased our hard drives clean. Mm. Yeah. Our intelligent, our minds. The, they erased the machines. Mm -hmm. And they said, Gang, hand me that drive right there. This is called education. Bam. Mm. This is called religion. religion. Bam. Matrix. Right. They put us in the matrix. Bam. Boom. They put it in there. Everything's artificial. So when we start finding out the truth, you're like, well, this, my frame said. Mm-hmm. And you, so that's why well, whoever breaks the mold of the matrix, when you actually break the mold of the matrix, that's why everybody think you crazy. Right. <laughs> but you can show them that, look, this stuff is artificial. It's not even real. It's not even the truth. Just like Christmas. Stuff. Just like Christmas. You can show them where it's at in Scripture and it says, don't do it. Jeremiah. Yeah. But that's instruction. We don't know instruction. We know fantasy. Right. We know imagination. We love reindeer. We love snowman. We, love, we want all that. We want the jolly. We want death. Right. We want stuff that's not real. We want pagan and say, I love God at the same time. When his word says, not to says do it. don't do it. And it, now, who do you know? Now, watch this. Now, watch this. What do you know? I'm going to give you a hint. What do you know, no matter how much you talk to it, it ain't going to do it right. Man, you never had to be talking about Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Siri? <laughs> that is exactly what I was thinking about, Roman. I was ever thinking, Siri, never get it right. You're like, Siri. Can you please turn it down a few notches? Okay, I'll well, not. We didn't find turn notches, but we did find turn it down. <laughs> Throw that thing away! <laughs> but look, you're given a specific what? Instruction. But it has its own artificial intelligence. Mm. It's been built to get some of the things right. But it's based off its own information that's been supplied. You get what I'm saying? Right. So when you're trying to tell somebody, and you're trying to tell the truth, it's almost like they're talking to you like Siri. I just don't get it. Oh, yeah. Right. Did you say up not or in, down? Right. It's not, it's not in their system. It's not in their... They're not... In their code. Bro. It's the image. It's the image. Just the image. And people will break up. They will divorce each other. Based off of image. If a man came home or if a woman came home and said, hey, you know what? I want to stop serving false images. That relationship's over. Right. right. Y'all don't even understand. Mm -hmm. Y'all do not understand. Well, there was some people, in relationships. People right? will absolutely end a strong relationship mm -hmm. based off the removal of an image. Mm -hmm. You understand? Absolutely. Images. A person's image? For some people, that's all they got. That's just, ugh. That's all they got. And Savannah, you know, I go hard with these young men. Yeah. I keep, we, we work hard to make sure, son. Keep, keep your image. So we're talking about what? Image. image. Okay, so what's the fight that people have the most? What does people do not want to give up the most? Image. Their image. And remember, this image has been created by artificial what? So here it is. The Most High is trying to give them instruction for their mind, but they follow the artificial intelligence of this world. In a country, watch this, in a country that has rebooted their life. Gave they them, took the identity away. Go ahead. Gave them, gave them what to think about certain things. What to think, gave what to celebrate, them, what, to eat. what to eat, what to do. Mm -hmm. Look, over the truth. So when our people come into the knowledge of the truth, now it's a fight between the truth and artificial intelligence. Am I right or wrong? That's the battle. So you're telling me I got to give all this up? Yeah. This all I know. Right. My mama did this. My auntie did this. My granny did it. My grandpa. My cousins. Are you saying we all in the matrix? Are oh, y'all got one? You get what I'm saying? Right. How do you know our people are in the matrix? Go back to Genesis chapter 6, read verse 5. 
Watch this. This is how you know. This is how you know where, where people is. Genesis 6 and 5. And Jehovah saw Elohim. Uh, and Elohim saw that the wickedness. So he saw the what? The wickedness. He saw the wickedness. One of the hardest things to tell somebody about themselves, hey, look, what you're doing is what? Wicked. It's wicked. Wicked is a man that was great, what, and where? In the earth. And that what? Every imagination. And that the wickedness that you have comes from your what? Imagination. imagination. Of the thoughts. Of the thoughts. That's so we have to reframe their what? Imagination by what? By the thoughts. What, what, what reframes them? The instructions. The, instructions. the Torah. So a person who is given into wickedness they don't want to follow instructions. Not because they don't love you. It's because that's all they know. Mm -hmm. This is why Chaul said we have to renew what? Our mind. Our mind. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Let's keep going. Good to see you, baby. All right. So, Proverbs 23 and 7. Let's read that again. So write this down if you haven't wrote it down already. How we think, say that. How we think. It's who we are. Say it again. How we think is who we are. It's not what you do. Because before you do anything, you got to think it first. So the question is, what's on my what? What's on my mind? And how did it get there? And if it's not producing what's righteous, then it's producing what's what? Wicked. wicked. Everything you put your hands to turns to wicked. And you're trying to figure out, dang, what? what's the problem? We got to go back to the root. Right. Let's change the imagination. Right. This world has put you in the image and you got to shake yourself from that image. Right. The name of this message is called Enemy Within. So instead of us pointing a finger at the enemies, we have to do what? Point at ourselves. ourselves. So instead of pointing fingers, we got to start doing what? Yeah, Raising our ourselves. hands. Like, I'm the problem. I got to fix this. Hallelujah. 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 23 and 7, read that. For as he thinketh in his heart. For as he thinketh where? In his heart. Uh-huh. So, so is he. That's you! Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Yes, you did. Why? Because you thought it. Mm. Eat and drink. Mm -hmm. Saith he to thee, mm -hmm. but his heart is not with thee. Wow. Say that again. For as he thinketh in mm -hmm. his heart, so is he. Mm -hmm. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. So a person can say, eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. So you could be with this person, mm -hmm. eating and drinking, but... They're not on the same level. They're not on the same page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's based, you could be close to somebody, but what separates you is your thoughts. Right. Are y'all getting what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can eat together and drink together, but the number one thing you're going to find out, like, man, what is on? Your mind. Your mind. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep going. Let's go to um, Matthew chapter 9. So we're going to read a little, little script here. And you still got Isaiah, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm not so our people are in bondage. And what we have to realize, and maybe we need to write this down too, what the Most High has given me as I'm speaking is, bondage begats bondage. That is true. So if I'm in bondage, that's all you know how to teach. That's, That's all I know how to teach. Yeah. And if a father's in bondage, he's going to teach his sons and daughters bondage. Yeah. And then his sons and daughters. So the reason why our people have been in bondage for so long is because the intelligence that they've taught us is an intelligence of bondage. Artificial intelligence. You guys are at the bottom. Y'all not the head. Y'all the what? Tail. Y'all not the tail. Y'all not above. Y'all what? Y'all beneath. Y'all not the people. Y'all not the people. Y'all Gentiles. Mm -hmm. 
So we're like, okay, well, shoot, turn up. Right. You, you, you get what I'm saying? So we live a life of something that they lie to us about. And then we pass it on. So now each generation gets what? Worse and worse, right? And it's so it's hard to break it. So the bondage of our people has been handed down by the vain thoughts of our leaders. Matthew chapter 9, verse 1. 1 through 8. And he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of palsy, mm -hmm. lying on the bed. And Yehoshua, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. Thy sins be forgiven. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So he was sick. He was sick. And so your host shows up on the boat. Just got off the boat, right? Came over to the city. Got off, seen a guy over here sick with palsy. Mm -hmm. Is palsy physical or spiritual? Physical. Say it again? Physical. It's physical. Mm -hmm. It's like a handicap. So he had, a physical, he had a physical problem. And what did Yehoshua say? Be of good cheer. No, 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 no. He called him what? Son. Son. What? Be of good, good cheer. cheer. Uh-huh. That, that sin is be forgiven. He said, don't even worry about it. I'm going to forgive your sins. So this man had a physical problem. And the Most High spoke to him and said, look. Did he give him a prescription? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Did he give him any type of a tussle? No tussle. No He said, I'm going to forgive your sins. What are your sins? Mm. Come on, y'all. What are your sins? Your imaginations. Mm. Against who? The most high. He said, I'm going to forgive all your imaginations you had about me. Why? Because I know you didn't know no better. Right. And it made you sick. Mm. When you see people walking downtown, when you see people walking throughout Sacramento late at night, look, talking to nobody. Right. Get it? Or people walking around like zombies. They're sick in their mind. Mm -hmm. Why? Because so many people lied to them. Somebody hurt them. Somebody betrayed him? Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now their frame of mind is in bondage. And most people who have mental problems also develop physical problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so your host was seeing the root. He said, no, the problem ain't his handicap. The problem is his mind. Why? Because this man may have done something that he thought he would never. Mm -hmm. Say son. Be forgiven. Be forgiven. Mm. How many of us think about this all the time? Man, there's some stuff. I hope what? I'll be forgiven for. Mm -hmm. There's people who think they can't be forgiven. So you know what they do? Say what? They keep, mm -hmm. they keep doing it worse and worse. Mm -hmm. Because they're trying to medicate the last sin. Right. The last thing I did was so, okay, it that was wasn't that, cool. It so, wasn't that bad. Yeah, so let me just do this. Because that was, and it's a perpetual life. Of, of, of falling short of the glory of Yah. Why? Because this country condones it. Man, just pick up your phone and woo, woo, woo. You can ask this. Somebody come over and get your neck and go do this and that. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Their medication here on this country is sin. Mm -hmm. So when Yehoshua shows up during this time, you best believe they're doing the same thing. Right. Now this man has palsy. And was like, Yehoshua's like, uh, I forgive you your sins. Now, how does that make you feel? When the man who That's made a the, release. When the man who made the rules shows up and said, you Calm good, down. You're good. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Yeah, great. When everything you've ever done wrong, you realize that the most high has left his instruction to forgive you. Mm. Is that bondage or freedom? Freedom. Why? Because he who the Son sets free, is free, is free indeed. Hallelujah. The reason why we act the way we act now 
is because we're free. Mm. We're not in bondage to the lies of this nation no more. Just like of artificial know. intelligence. Of the artificial intelligence, right? <laughs> so, what does that look like, though? What does that look like? Just like a bit, a minute ago in his boys. Right. Right, because they was ready to die right then and there for the most part. Was yeah. it ready to die? Yeah, and that's the same thing that we were talking about last night. Mm -hmm. So you got to have that that feeling of not being afraid to die, basically, knowing that the most, that you going straight to the gate, basically. You know, that's right. Like, that's the thing. That's that's one thing I, I was afraid of, you know, like, before I woke up to the truth, being afraid to die, like, even earlier, like, later on in life mm -hmm. than, like, others. But now I just have like a, a spirit of like if anything happened to me I'm not I'm not even scared like yeah. it's not even like an ignorant type feeling it's like I know like the Most High is gonna have my back basically. Hallelujah. Like, even if I do pass away a certain day I'm, I know where I'm going where I'm headed Hallelujah you know, right. Cause, Hallelujah because you're free right mm -hmm. people who aren't free they're more the scared struggle. of death yeah you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying when death has no sting but you're scared of it because you're in bondage because you don't know. Listen, if you've been forgiven. Because mm. the church, all they say you got to do is raise your hand. And say Jesus. Walk up to the front and you cool. Mm. But you got an eighth in your back pocket and you, you know what I'm saying? You about to, you about to turn up out, immediately after the church, in the car, leaving. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is sin is a form of bondage. It's a form of thinking. Are you with me? He says, son, are we still in the same verse? Yeah. yeah. Son, be of good cheer. Thy sins be what? Forgiven, Forgiven thee. Verse 3. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, this man blasphemeth. Wait a minute. So your host shows up, see a man sick. Hey, man, <laughs> be of good cheer. Your sons and your sins are forgiven me. Somebody else who some leaders in the community show up and say, man, why he say that? You're a blasphemer. So somebody getting mad at Yehoshua right. for telling somebody to be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. This man has been bonded in bondage to pausing probably his whole life. He's finally set free and somebody he. Does that sound familiar, y'all? Mm -hmm. let's, let's, let's talk about this. So imagine being locked up in the pen. You get out the pen. And people who are in the pen... Mad at you. Huh? They mad at they're you. They're mad because you what? You free. 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 But they ain't mad at you that you're free. They're mad at the person who set you free. Y'all get mad because the one who's in charge set him free? Are y'all following what I'm saying? Right. That's how it is. So when your mind is free of the, when you have the truth inside you, you have been set free. And guess what? People don't like when you know the truth. Because truth comes with instruction and people don't want to follow up. Okay. Instructions. I didn't want to follow instructions a part of my life. No, I'm going to do what I want to do until I bump my head then I wanted to follow up. The truth. Yeah. I'm like, man, I, I need to do something right because I keep on bumping my head like this. You get what I'm saying? So, and I always say this also. I tell Pete and Rome, I said, the reason why I give you so much instruction is because I got to follow instruction. Mm -hmm. Now, the day you don't want to follow instruction, that means that's the day you want to follow the most high. Right. And we can part ways right there and there. But I never want to part ways with people I love. But if I have to, because they want to be in bondage, that's what I got to do. And you do too. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Verse 3. And, but I just want to read it again. Um, just 9 and 3, yeah, start 9 and 3. Matthew 9, read it out. And behold, certain other scribes. Matthew 9 and 3. Uh, oh, 9. And, nine. And, behold, and behold, certain other scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemed. Keep going. And Yahushua, knowing their thoughts. He knew their what? Thoughts. He knew their thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? Why are you thinking so evil in your hearts? Because what's in your heart made you what? Say Speak what you it out. Say what you said. Mm -hmm. Where'd that come from? Mm -hmm. Huh? Right. Verse 4. 
verse 5. For whether it is easier to say, thy sins be forgiven me, or to say, arise and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Hallelujah. Then saith he to the sick of the parsley, arise, take up thy bed, and go into thy house. Okay, so check it out. He said this to the scribes. He said, I want you to know something. That the Son of Man has the power on earth to forgive the sins. The sins were his people sinned against Yah. Our people have a tendency to sin against Yah. But they don't believe that Yahushua forgave them for them to get have a new leaf on life. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that separates us from the truth and those who are not. The people who are not in truth isn't because they don't want to. They don't believe they can be forgiven. Not only that, after you're forgiven, does that mean you go back to your sin? No. No. It's time to live by what? Instruction and not your what? Imagination. Your own imagination. Verse 7. And he arose and departed to his house. The guy with palsy did. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified Elohim, mm. which had given such power unto them. So the leaders didn't want this to happen. You follow what I'm saying? The leaders didn't want this man to be healed and to be set free and to know that his sins are forgiven. So we have to look at this and ask ourselves a question. you telling me there's people on this earth that call themselves our leaders that would rather us be in our sin? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Can anybody name who these people may be? A pastor. A pastor. Why would you say that, my love? Because they know the truth. They read the instructions, but they want to create their own interpretations of okay. scripture, which it says that that's what they do. Mm -hmm. And they want to, what did you say? Bondage begets bondage? Yeah. They want to keep you in bondage. Mm -hmm. They do the same thing. It's not even... It's spiritually, politically, and physically. Because doctors do the same thing. I was good, Pete. Yeah. 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 But for their own gain. For their own gain. That's what I was about okay. to say. Yeah. Yeah. Because they want to tell you something that's going to make you feel good rather than what's going to make the most high count you worthy. Right. I like that. That's so, the thing. Y'all want to go deep? Go ahead. Y'all want to go deep? <laughs> so palsy. Do you know what palsy is? Cerebral palsy, Just that's palsy. what he had. The word palsy altogether. I'm going to give it to you, now we'll go deep. You ready? Uh, here we go. It means to be a paralytic. So he's paralyzed. Uh, paralyzed somewhere. Right. That's why I say he rose. That's right. Oh, yeah. So he was paralyzed. He couldn't move. He was stuck. Mm. Our people have palsy. Ooh. Mm -hmm. They're paralyzed. Yeah. They're paralyzed in a certain part of their state. mind. You, you, see what I'm saying? State. They're paralytic in spirituality. They can't move. And all these people got them in bondage. See? Because there's money. There's money being a paralytic. Yeah, because you stay there. Because you need people to help you. You need people. You have to look, you have to depend on people. You get what I'm saying? So what he did was he said, look. I'm going to set this man free from depending upon you. Because you guys got my people in bondage. Wow, that's deep. And y'all taking advantage of the paralytic? Mm. You guys are mad because now he know you were the one keeping, him in keeping me down in the first place. Wow. So now that we've awakened, you won't see no preachers coming to our page. Why? Because we ain't no paralytic. We didn't give a preacher the business. Right. I'm like, eat, get it. <laughs> Easy. For real. Scriptures all day. Roman, go ahead and throw that at him. Why? Because we're not paralyzed and allowing you to come talk to us in your kind of way. Right. And that's just staying stuck. Right. All stupid. We're not locked up in prison no more. We're free. See what I'm saying? We're not subject to these pagan hella days. You are, even when the scriptures say don't do it, and you tell them y'all's people to do it. So curse be upon you and them for listening to. Right. But look how bad, look how look at, look at this picture though. It was a paralytic. 
man couldn't even move. And y'all ready for this? Paralysis come from the mind. Mm -hmm. It starts from the spine. And the spine is connected to where? The brain. It's the brain. It's everything. So when Yahushua spoke to him, it affected the machine. Mm -hmm. There's people right now that are physically sick and going through some crazy situations. And it's all starting from their mind. And they don't even know it. They think the medicine's going to help. They think that, you know, the drug's going to help. Mm -hmm. They think a, a woman or a man's going to, that ain't it. They need to be set free by the truth of the Most High. Right. Of who they are and how they're set free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, that's just like stress. You know how uh, we just read in Proverbs 23 and 7 it says, for, for as you think is in, in his heart, that's how you're going to be. If yeah. you think it, that's what's going on. Mm -hmm. So they said stress is a silent killer. But how mm. can something in your mind kill your body? Man, that's crazy. That's the, that is basically the whole concept. You know how? You know how? So, what's the first word we talked about today? What word? Imagination. Imagination. Who is stuck with the imagination all the time? The person. The person. Right. So, they're sitting down. Thinking all the time. All day. And this machine is running over and over. And they can't find a way out. It's like they're running in four corners. Right. Because it's like, I know there's a way out of this. How can I went to church? Right. I read the Bible. I prayed. How can there be nothing changing? Right. And then also, so what happens is you have people that are stressed and they, they just, they're stressed. Their heart can't take it. Boom, they die. They have a stroke or something. Yeah. Or you have other people that um, are going through something mentally mm -hmm. and they're trying to self-medicate themselves away from it. Yeah. You could have people that have eating disorders yeah. or you could have people that um, have, um, you know, they're sh super shy. You could have people that yeah. do drugs. You can have people that um, they they think so much that they have, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, like a nervous breakdown. They get so nervous, mm -hmm. they break down. Like it really attacks you physically. It does. So your imaginations and your thoughts, like this guy had palsy, mm -hmm. can paralyze you in a state to where you're 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 constantly on like this hamster wheel yeah. and you're not able to get off Can't you're paralyzed off. in that moment in that thought right so it cripples you so why were the scribes mad at Yahushua? because he offered them a cure he, 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 he offered him a cure i like that word offer why do you say offer a cure because he, he, he didn't say <laughs> i know where you're going with this even in the scripture it just said that he, it was black. The, the the scribe went up to him like, "That's blasphemy." He was like, "Well, you want me to go up to him and just say, get up, you're fine.' And rather than me, rather than me admitting that and let him know that he's forgiven for right. what he did, you want me to do that instead of let him know that I'm actually here for here for him. And I'm actually, right. you know, what I'm, saying? I'm gonna do both. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not just gonna come up here and just do what y'all doing. Just raise this man up and let him and heal him and not just let him know, you know. Okay, so why did he offer it though? Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, DJ. I was like, because he needed to accept it. The man needed to accept it. <laughs> DJ, man, you come a long way, man. I'm you about, you about, you're going to be up here next week. Because freedom is only for those who want to accept it, man. That's right. Well, that's so good, yeah. DJ. He believed. Mm -hmm. He had enough. He was like, I'm free. I'm free to get up. You tell me I get up right now. And he got up. Like, Why? Why did the scribes and Pharisees have a problem with that, though? Because they know they couldn't do it. Okay, that's a piece. Uh, Why did they have a problem? Come on, we don't think your about Your dad, I want to I wanna say, because his dad's online. His dad says, Akdawi says, the Pharisees wanted an offering in fame. Okay, that's a piece of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but why didn't they want your host to do that? Because they know they, they, it's secure. Okay, yeah, but it's deeper. Think about the whole scene. They, the wanted, scene. they wanted him in a dependent state. Yes, I got that, but let's back up. Listen, let's think of the scene. 
Okay. Chest got off the ship, so everybody like, man, look at this culture right there, man. Look, he got his locks. Cause he got, he got new locks. My cousin did them. <laughs> that, that's the culture right My there. <laughs> oh man, he going up to little JJ. Remember JJ? He can't even walk, man. What are you talking to JJ about? Right. Right. JJ get up and walk. The scribes are mad. The Pharisees are mad about that. Who saw it? Everybody. Everybody saw it. It puts their doctrine to shame. It puts yeah, their doctrine to shame. Puts, and it causes other, other people, people to believe. Yeah. yeah. The reason why we were waking to the truth is for our families to see us. Right. Why? Because they seen us paralyzed. Right. Our lives paralyzed. Everything we we can't get nothing right. We was right. can't get right on life. Remember that movie? Yeah. We was can't get right. And then all of a sudden, we go from darkness to light? Right. You telling me that we come to the knowledge of our inheritance of who we are that our parents and grandparents didn't even know? Right. Or knew and couldn't practice. Yes. So they didn't want this thing to get out. They were like, man, if everybody that's paralyzed in some kind of way find out about this guy, then everybody could be set free. Then our offerings won't matter no more. Mm -hmm. Then our little Wednesday night Bible study ain't gonna happen no more. Mm -hmm. Then our Sunday schools ain't gonna happen no more. Now my now the pastor house is now in foreclosure. Now I can't keep my car. Right. Mm -hmm. Their lifestyle. Right. Okay. Because God's people is free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He came to set the captives free. Mm -hmm. Good one, DJ. That was excellent. Go ahead, baby. Oh, no, no, I was just... You'd be like, yeah! I have my arm right, okay. I know, I'd be so anxious. Okay, I'll put my arm down. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> she gets excited. She starts to shake and throw things and all this and that. <laughs> all right, let's go. Isaiah 26. Roma, give me that. Roma, Isaiah 26, 1 through 3. I'm going to try to zoom through these, but, man, I'm telling you, I, I pray everybody watching this knows this. Listen, all of your answers to your problems start in your imagination. And all the beginning to your problem, all the beginnings to your problem starts in your imagination. So the solution and the problem is in your mind. Isaiah 26, 1 through 3. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Yehuda. We have a strong city, salvation will Elohim. A point for walls and bulk bulwarks. bulwarks. Mm -hmm. Open ye the gates. It says, "Open ye the gates." Uh huh. That the righteous nation. That the righteous nation which keepeth the truth. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Open the gates for who? The righteous nation. For the righteous nation that what? Keep it the keep the that keep the what? That keep the what? The truth. So the nation that's righteous are the ones who keep the what? Truth. The truth. That they may do what? Enter in. Enter in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. I thought everybody could be saved. Mm -hmm. Ain't that what the that's what the preachers say? Everybody say, raise your hand, you say. Raise your hand? What you talking about? I'm about to kill somebody tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I can shot somebody last night, but I'm about to kiss somebody tonight. And I'm saying, okay, so cool. So I can just say my, I can raise my hand again tomorrow. Word. No. Open ye the gates. To what, y'all? To the righteous. To the kingdom. Mm -hmm. That the righteous what? Nation. Which keepeth the what? Truth. May what? Enter in. Man. Keep reading. That will keep him in perfect So alone. you're going to keep us in perfect what? Shalom. Shalom. Okay. Who's, whose mind is Whose what? Mind. mind. Wait, pop right there, son. Mm -hmm. So shalom, perfect shalom, is connected to your what? My mind. mind. Oh my God. Complete peace. Yeah, that's what it means. People who have unpeaceful lives has unpeaceful minds. The mind is not peace. Here's why. Read. Yeah. Thou will keep him what? Keep keep him in perfect shalom. Perfect shalom. Whose who mind is stayed on thee. Whose mind is stayed on who? Thee. Yeah. Yeah. So if your mind ain't on Yah, then your mind don't have what? Peace. Peace. 
You can't have peace without Yah. And the problem is, this nation has given you every resource but Yah and telling you you got peace. Mm -hmm. They promise you peace and money. But there's people with money that kill themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. They promise you peace with dope and through sex, but all that leads to all destruction. Mm -hmm. So none of it's working, but our people are still going after it. No, 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 no. It says that will keep him in perfect peace whose mind Mind controls your what? Body. Your it's the, the mind is the machine yeah. that controls your what? Your imagination. Your thoughts. thoughts. What so you produce. What you produce. Well, how you create. Mm -hmm. Get it? So if your mind is right, your life will be right. Right. When you keep your mind in peace, your home is in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So here's my challenge. Say, what's that? What's that? Well, if you ask me, I'm going to tell you. Kick everything out your life that's not peaceful. Kick everybody out your life that's not peaceful. Don't come to my house. No. You don't have peace in you. Because when you come over here, now you're disturbing my peace. my peace. Don't come over here with that. I got to keep my mind on the most high. Because right. if not, I'm not going to have peace. Are y'all with me? Right. All right, let's keep reading to another verse. Not this verse. Another chapter. All right. Write this down if you can. Salvation. Say it. Salvation. Salvation begins with the condition of our minds. Hey, I'm here to save you. I ain't ready to go yet. <laughs> ain't no, ain't, you don't got a choice. I'm here to save you. I want to go yet. Why? Because my mind is telling me I don't want to be saved yet. I just need a little bit more time. I just want to just, I want to have chaos and peace. Can I have that? No. Right. That creates uh, storms. That creates storms. creates hurricanes. Yeah. Creates storms. Hot and cold. Yeah. Warm weather. Storms. That creates hurricanes. That creates storms. Good. Judgment upon our minds. How we got to where we are. Isaiah 29. All right, uh, Isaiah 29, verse 1 through 6. Lord, to Ariel, to Ariel, the sea where David looked. Another word for Ariel is Jerusalem. And ye, year to year, let them kill with sacrifice. Mm. Yet I will distress Ariel, Israel, Israel. Ariel. Uh, Ariel. So it's not. Is it Israel? Israel. It's Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem. Oh, yeah. And there shall be heaviness and sharp sorrow, and it shall be unto me as Ariel. Mm -hmm. And I will camp against thee round about, mm -hmm. and will lay siege against thee with a mount, and I will raise force against thee. So this story here is a prophecy of how we got to where we are. So pay close attention. Woe to Ariel. When you see that word woe, Uwe, that's Uwe right there. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And thou shalt be brought down. Verse 4, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And thou shalt be brought down. Uh huh. And shalt speak out of the ground. Mm. And thy speech shall be low out of the dust. Out of the dust. And thy voice shall be as one that has familiar spirit. Has a familiar oh. spirit. Okay. And out of out of the ground. So a familiar spirit out of the ground. You're gonna be like dust with a familiar spirit out of the ground. Who speaks out of the ground? Who has been condemned to the dust of the ground? Hasatan, the, the serpent. So now, now he's saying you're gonna speak out of the ground now. You guys are so much in sin. You guys will be speaking like the enemy. Like the adversary. Keep going. And thy speech shall whisper out, out of the dust. Ooh. Moreover, the multitude of thy strangers mm. shall be like small dust. And the multitude of the terrible one of the terrible ones mm -hmm. shall be a chaff that as chaff. As chaff. As chaff, mm -hmm. as chaff that pass, passes away. Mm -hmm. Yea, it shall be at an instant 
Study seven. Wow. Now look at this. Look at this. It's going to happen. Y'all going to fall like that. Bang. Mm -hmm. Instantly. Keep going. Thou shalt be visited of your host. Of host. With thunder. And, and with earthquake. And with great noise. Mm -hmm. With storm and tempest. And the flame of devouring fire. Uh huh. And the multitude of all the nations that fight against Ariel, even all the fight against her and her munition. munition, and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision. Wow. Nightmare. This could be like a nightmare. Go ahead. It shall even be as when an angry man. Dream. Hungry. Oh, a hungry. Well. A hungry man mm -hmm. dreameth, dreameth, and behold, he eateth, but he awaketh, and his soul is empty. Mm -hmm. For as when a thirsty man dreameth, and behold, he drinketh, but he awaketh, mm -hmm. and behold, he is fate. Right. And his soul hate that uh, hath, hath appetite. Uh -huh. So shall the multitude of all the nations be. The fight against Mount Zion. Wow. Mm -hmm. So everybody's going to be against Mount Zion. You're not going to have no help at all. You're going to be hoping and yearning for help. And no one's going to come and help you. That's what we experience here. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. Stay yourself and wonder. Mm -hmm. Cry ye out and cry. Mm -hmm. They are drinking, but not with wine. So now you, these people now are, are, are drunken, but not with wine. They do what? They staggered, uh -huh. but not with strong drink. So, these people now are going to be drunken. So, what does drunken mean? Not in control. Not in control. Of what? Yourselves. No, 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 Intoxicated. Intoxicated? What's that? What's the uh, What's What's intoxicated? What do you say, Benny? That's it. Say the word. Like your, uh, your, your like spirit, like your spirit, your mind, your mind. Yeah. Your yes. Mind. Mm -hmm. He's saying, "I'm going to now." They're it says it. They are drunken, but not with wine. So our people, our mind is if we walk around as if they were drunk, and we haven't had nothing to drink. Mm. Our so spiritual weird. life is as if though we had some wine, day because everyone looking at us like you guys are the chosen people. Why do y'all act like that? Without even having a drink. Mm. It's just who y'all are. Y'all stagger around like y'all... Yeah. I'm going to make y'all stagger around like you're drunken, but you're not going to have any wine. Then it says, they stagger, but not with strong drink. You didn't even have no Hennessy. <laughs> no Henny Hen? You don't even have a hand. You 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 over here like you off that brown. <laughs> you understand me? You had a you had a you had the paper bag. You had the little pinky when you twisted the top like this. You know what I'm saying? Like that. <laughs> but it wasn't nothing in the bottle. But you walk around like you had Hennessy. Because you are you guys are so question. When someone is drunken, uh -oh. can they follow instructions properly? No. Nope. No. I need you to walk the line. <laughs> yeah, no. I need you to walk the line. <laughs> I'm gonna walk the line. Where the line at? <laughs> you going to jail? <laughs> okay. And what happened with us? We did what? We went to jail mm -hmm. because we did, we couldn't even focus no more. Now watch what happens. Watch what happened to us. Verse ten. For your holy. Has poured out upon you. So, so y'all did something. I, he poured upon us mm -hmm. a what? A brew up. A spirit. Mm -hmm. Who did it? The devil? Yo the devil did it. Yahweh did it. Read it again. Your, your Bible ain't right. For Yahweh has that poured. Was that. What did your Bible say? For Yahweh. What did your Bible say? It says for Yahweh. Y'all lying. What did your Bible say? You know what? I ain't talking nothing. I'm going to read my Bible. <laughs> for Yahweh. Whoa. Mm. For Yahuwah. Yah poured out upon you. Who's you? The nation of Israel. Our people. The spirit of what? 
deep sleep. Deep sleep. Wait. Who wrote, what book are we in? We have that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. He's a prophet. Who? Israel. What? And he's telling them that the Most High did what? Poured oh, out a, a deep sleep. So wait. Spirit. So you're telling me when the we tell people to, when we tell people it's time for them to do what? Wake up. Right. Right. In order to wake up, you have to be what first? Sleep. Oh. Okay. So I got a question. Is it hard to wake somebody up who's in this deep sleep? Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Especially when they're drunk. <laughs> they want to see you take my whole yeah. little note for you. Oh. That's okay, baby. Just chime on in. You're right. If you, back in the day, we call it DS. Man, if you was DS, boy, drunken style. If you are drunk style, boy, <laughs> I'm going to sleep all day. You can't wake a drunk. Right. They're going to burn up they in the fire. Yeah. And if you do happen to try to wake them up, mm. when they don't want to get up. That's uh, going to be a fight. It's going to be a what? It's going to be a fight. That's why it's hard to wake up our people. They fight us. Why? Because the sleep is so deep. Mm -hmm. So you'd be like, hey, you need to start keeping the commandments. Ah! I'm sleeping, you know? <laughs> you like this? <laughs> Give me the water. It don't matter what you do. <laughs> you can't pour water on them. You can't yell at them. Mm -hmm. A person ain't going to wake up from their sleep. Mm -hmm. As long as they still feel with that water. Oh, wow. Um, do you understand? Yeah. So we got to remember something. This was put upon us. He made us, the name of this message is called the enemy within. He made us our own worst enemy. Mm -hmm. It ain't nobody who, white or Arabian, it's us. Right. Because we led to our what? Own imaginations. Yeah. To where he said, oh, yeah, you think you're bad, huh? Okay, we're going to make you drunk. And you ain't got no wine on you. How about that? And you sleep. Everybody that come up to you, you they know who you are, but you don't know who you are. Right. right. He says, I poured upon you the spirit, uh, your whole poured upon you the spirit of what? Deep, Deep sleep. sleep. And then what, then what else did he do? Close your eyes. Ooh. Wait a minute, hold on, wait, let's back up. Well, because that. you got to remember what he's talking about. Uh. If he poured upon us the spirit of deep sleep, mm -hmm. what happened? Aren't your eyes already closed? Right. Yeah. Then why would he say, and, and he closed your eyes? But that comes with sleep. 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 Mm -hmm. Why is he talking about? That you up, right. but you oh. sleep. Am I no, your spirit, your, your, con your, spirit your, mind, your consciousness. Yeah. So I'm going to put you to sleep, and I'm going to close your consciousness. You're spiritually sleep. So now, that now people say, yeah, I'm woke. You sleep both physically and consciously. You're not woke no more. I'm closing your conscience. Mm -hmm. Your conscience is closed. Mm -hmm. But praise Yah for the 400 years. Oh, right yeah. before the 400 years, you know what he started doing? Somebody say what? what? He start waking people up. Mm -hmm. First scripture. It's millions of us woke now. Right. It's millions of us that have broken the deep sleep. Mm -hmm. right. And our eyes are open. And what the first thing that we're trying to do is what? Wake up. Wake other people up. Dude, wake up. Man, look, you can get your hands up off me. <laughs> right. I'm trying to get my what? Sleep. Sleep. Deep sleep, man. So we already know in other scriptures, I didn't put it in here, that some people pass from sleep to death. Right. Because they never wake up. That's, that's the second death. That's the second death. death because death. you've been put into a deep sleep, which is death is like sleep. Right. But if you die you're in your deep sleep, yeah. you are double condemned. Right. It says, and I, and, and I ask, close your eyes. Read the next part. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, that he covered. Wow. So he's like, wow. okay. all your prophets, people, you call pastor, all that, all them. I got them all covered up in this. Verse 11. And the vision of all is become unto you. As the words of a book that is sealed, mm -hmm. which which man delivered to one that is learned, saying, "Read, read this. this. I pray, I pray thee." thee. He and said, he, "He said, I cannot." I cannot. For it is sealed. Sealed. So what he's saying is that he said, "In the vision of all is become unto you as words of a book that is sealed." So what's happening is, when our people are starting to wake up, 
They're bringing the book to preachers who are still asleep. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pastor, I heard we ain't supposed to be celebrating Christmas. Yeah, I don't know about that part, but I do know you need to pay your tithes today. You, you start asking them, well, who are the true Israelites? Well, I don't really need... That part of the book is sealed to me. Mm -hmm. Meaning, I, I really can't tell you, but I can tell you it don't matter, though. It really don't matter. And it because I gotta rock you back to sleep. I gotta keep you asleep. Because I'm making money off of you. You are my what? I'm a hireling. I make money just to lie to you. I get what I'm saying? Go ahead, baby. I was just saying, I was looking up some scripture in regard to the second death. And in Revelations 21 and 8, I want to read this. It says, um, let me see. Um, so I'm going to start at 7. It says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his Elohim, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Mm -hmm. wow. So to be spiritually dead is one thing, but when you're physically dead, you already know that that's judgment. Mm -hmm. So this telling you where what's about to happen in that judgment, that's right. second, death. That's second death. death. If you're not waking up to follow these instructions. Not only that, baby, we'll take this out. We understand through scripture now that this nation is under judgment. Right. So this is preparing us for our next move about this peace. Right? right. Can you imagine the people who are sleeping don't even know it's time to move? See, that's what's happening. I see spirit when someone's stuff. sleeping in the house, like, okay, I'm about to, we about to go. I'm, when you say sleep, when they wake up, we go. You get it? Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a lot of people. It's going to be a lot of people because America is under judgment. You see what I'm saying? Mm. All right, let's keep going. What verse are we on? Uh, 11. Oh, we just wait. Wait. Uh, and 12. Nine, 12. 12. Sorry, that was 11. Let me go 12. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned. Uh huh. Saying, read this. Read this. I pray thee. I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Man. I said 29. Where and, are we? Hold on, verse 13. Oh, okay. Where for? We're in, we're for. I don't, I don't know what I said. Say, for, for as much as this, people draw near me with their mouth. People draw near me with their mouth. They claim me. They run their mouth. They call Yah. Uh-huh. And with their lips, do honor me. Okay, but what? But have removed their heart far from me. Oh, so you can call on Yah, but you really don't love me anyway in your heart. Keep going. And their fear toward me is taught. By the precept of men. And the only reason why you can call precepts me Precepts right, of men, this part. Mm -hmm. The precept of men. This is what the pastors be doing. The precept they of men. They give you the interpretation and they make you the right. sin against the so Most they, High. So they, they make the Most High be who they want you to think He is. Right. And that's what keeps our people in bondage. Because it's their own precept, right? Right. It's not the truth. Now you could go home and use your own imagination and say, Well, hey, look, can nobody judge me? God, this is not, and that's not what scripture say. Right. All right, verse uh, four, 13, 14, I'm sorry. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do all marvel, marvelous work among this people. You're going to do, okay, so he's going to do a marvelous work among this people, okay? Even a marvelous work and a wonder uh -huh. for the wisdom of, of the wise of the wise men shall perish for the wisdom of the wise men shall perish okay and the understanding of their cultured men shall behave okay woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel counsel from Yahweh. so people that want to be all deep but to hide their what they're really doing from Yahweh. Mm -hmm. okay and their works are in the dark so they do all this stuff in the dark right and they say who seeth us? Who seeth us? Nobody can see me because it's out. Mm. Uh -huh. And who knoweth us? Who knoweth us? Okay. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed uh -huh. as the porter's clay. Potter's clay. As the potter's clay. Uh -huh. For shall the word say of him that made it, 
he he made me not? Mm-hmm. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it? He had no understanding. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all see that word? Framed. Yeah. He said, or shall the thing framed? The thing that was made. Framed. I was thought of. The imagination. The imagination. Mm-hmm. So shall the thing that's imagined say of him that imagined it? He had no understanding. Hmm. So what happening is people are saying that y'all don't know what he's doing. Are y'all follow what I'm saying? Habakkuk mm-hmm. 2, 18 to 20. What pro- what profit is the graven image that the maker thereof hath get graven it? The molten image. And a teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols. Do you get what I'm saying? He says, so what, what are people profiting for making graven images? That the maker of that had graven it, graven it. So the reason why the most high is giving these commandments for us to not put on the other guys before him. He said, you're not profiting anything. Right? It says the molten image and the teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols. Why are they dumb? Verse 19. Woe unto him that said to the wood. So woe to the person that looks at wood mm-hmm. and what? Wait. Wait to the dumb stone. Arise. <laughs> Wake Wait up. The dumb stone. It's so key. idolatry is like looking at an idolatry, how we do with idols. How we got idolatry. It's like you're looking at a piece of wood and saying to the wood, what? Arise. Arise. Awaken. And looking at a dumb stone and saying what? Arise. Teach, teach us. Teach. That's what people do when they look at images like crosses. They say, oh God, because they're looking at the cross as the image. Right. We don't use the cross as an image. It's a symbol, but it's not the image we worship. Right. Right. You get what I'm saying? So, oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas uh-huh. You get that? That's an image. Yeah. Let's deck it. Let's put something, because we got a wish upon a star. We got a hope and wish for Santa. Mm-hmm. And then these kids are believing. Look, they're believing. He said, woe to them that look at a piece of wood. Right. They said, oh man, this is the season. Man, I'm, this is the season. I'm about to be mm-hmm. blessed. And they cursed. They, they about to go to jail. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> they behind on <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like, it did not do anything for them. Why? Watch this. It says, behold, what? It is laid, it is laid over with what? Gold and gold silver. It said, behold. This piece of wood is laid over with gold and silver. Now, what do you deck a Christmas tree with? Gold, silver gold. and gold, right? And there is no what? Because the tree is what? Dead. It's dead. There's no breath at all in the midst of this. He said, how dumb is that? But see, these were the nations of people that were around at the time, around the Israelites that were doing that. And we were so prestigious of a people, we just thought we were just all that sinning against the Most High. But what did he do? He said, I'm now going to put you in captivity to these very people. And you are going to be doing it, this thing more than them. You go to a black person's house right now if you want to and touch their Christmas tree. <laughs> they will shoot you over something that's dead. That can't do nothing for them. Right. But you're trying to show them the instruction, they will fight you over their own what? Imagination. Imagination. Well, that's how I see it. You see it because that's how you think. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever man thinketh, so he is. Right. So here it is. The fight is between instruction of Yah and the imagination of man. Right. That's, yeah. Last verse, verse 20. But Yahuwah is in his holy temple. Hallelujah. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
This message is part two. We got to do a part three because I got a gang of notes I ain't even do. But my whole point today is we had to find out where the imagination came from. Our problem isn't what we do with our hands. It's what we do in our mind. But why is it on your mind? And why aren't you trying to change your mind? Right. You see what I'm saying? We got to take hold of this thing. And next week I'm going to talk, talk about tossing out the imagination. How do you toss it out? Because I was talking to Savannah about that this week. I said, baby, I know what the problem is. We don't know how to grab hold of it. We're afraid that if we, if we grab hold of something that has been holding us, we think that it's more powerful than us. And we're the ones that put it there. Right. We've been in charge of our mind this whole time, you're telling me? We've been in charge of what goes in and go out of our mind this whole time? Are you saying that? And the only reason why we're in the position we're in now is because we just changed our mind? That's all we did. Look it, you could have gave me $50,000 way before I changed my mind. I'd have messed it up. Because right. money don't change your mind. Mm -hmm. right. You could have erased all my debt. Because of my old stinking thinking, I still would have got myself back in debt. Because, right. why? I didn't renew my mind. So now you come into instruction. Now you follow rules. And it's the rules of the Most High. And the rules of the Most High is what? Remember? Uh, the host gave him instruction. He told him to do what? Keep the commandments. No. He told him to do what? Arise. Arise. <laughs> Keep the commandments. <laughs> You're a paralytic. Yeah. I'm about to go ahead and heal the root of your problem. Your spirit's paralyzed because these people kept in mind rise and walk. This man got up and walked. Not only physically, but mentally and spiritually. And the last thing this country won't, last thing this world won't, is for the Israelites to arise. Right. Hallelujah. You telling me when they find out about who Yah is, and they start living their life according to what Yah told them to do? You think this nation won't that? After what happened to the predecessor nations that kept us in bondage? Right. They don't want that to happen because they know that's judgment upon them right. when we come together because now we speak as one voice to Yah. Right. And he hears his children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now everything we put our hands to prosper and that used to be destruction. Right. Everything we do now helps us grow instead of fall. Hallelujah. We're unified instead of divided. Right. We have peace instead of chaos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's what the enemy don't want. And that's the biggest fight. Mm -hmm. So here's our charge. Are you ready for our charge? Yeah. When you pray for somebody, don't pray for them. Stop praying for them. You pray against their imaginations. Mm -hmm. We have to take our prayers to another level. In the realm that's spiritual, right. where the imaginations are. We have to go against the forces that is messing with their imagination. Because that's the fight. Talking to somebody is easy. But fighting their imagination is something else. So when you fight the imagination, now you're asking the angels to fight those demonic spirits that's attacking them. So the next time you talk to them, they weren't under attack, and they may be an open door to where you can tell them, arise. We're talking to the paralytic now. We used to be paralytic. Now we got to go back and talk to the paralyzed. But we got to remember how to do it. In times, don't let Babylon break you. Don't let them break your soul. In time, in time, stay woke, it's going down. Yeah. We gonna wake up the tribes. How is willing. what you cooking? Last days. Yeah, we about to wake up the tribes. Armageddon at the doorstep. Stay woke, it's going down. Babylon trying to break me. I need the Holy Spirit right now. We about to wake up the tribes. Spare not cry loud. Yeah. 
Yeah, we about to wake up the tribes. In time, in time. Stay woke, it's going down. Babylon trying to break my soul. Holy Spirit, come down. We about to wake up the tribes. Spare not cry loud. Yeah. We about to wake up the tribes. We in the truth, now they scared of us. They knew that Jacob would rise. We don't want problems, we just want to do the laws. Praise the most high. But if it's on, then it's on. Got angels with us when it's wartime.